Hello friends, Operator Starsky with a daily update from Kyiv, Ukraine. Today the Russian fascists became 506 days closer to their inevitable and horrible demise. Uh, 17 drones were launched by the Russians overnight, 16 were intercepted, unfortunately one hit civilian enterprise in the city of Kriperich. The Russians are showing amazing rationality when it comes to killing Ukrainians, they just waste swarms of drones and missiles, expecting at least several of them to reach their target to make the Russian citizens a bit happier. And exactly at this moment, the Air Defense in Mykolaiv Oblast is shooting down the enemy strike drones, the Shaheds built by Iranian terrorists and launched by the Russian fascists at civilian Ukrainian targets. Bulgaria sent its biggest supply to Ukraine, which among other things includes 100 vehicles that are crucial at the front lines. Massive shout out to our Bulgarian allies. In the past week, the assault units of the National Guard of Ukraine liberated about a mile of the occupied territory in the area of Melitopol. It is reported uh, that the 15th Operative Brigade of the National Guard Karadag and several units of the armed forces of Ukraine are operating in this area. Uh, you probably remember when the Russians were showing their own destroyed vehicles, pretending they were Leopards and Bradleys. So this time, Russia's telegram channel Medved bragged about the mighty Russian cruise missiles able to fly huge distances, like uh, from Sumy to Zaporizhia, but the degenerates illustrated their publications with the Ukrainian Neptune missiles, uh, like the ones that sank the Russian warship Moskva. Apparently the smartest among the Russian propagandists got killed in Bakhmut, because the current level of the Russian fakes is so ridiculous, so it's not even funny. What's funny, however, is that the wanted uh, Russian criminal Vladimir Putin, also known as Huilo, or the uh, dictator wearing high heels, made another statement about the Wagner group. Uh, remember his previous claims. Содержание всей группы Вагнер полностью обеспечилось государством. So this time Huilo claimed that the terrorist group Wagner doesn't exist at all. According to Hui Lo, there is no legislation in terror Russia regulating the private military companies. Therefore, all this time, the Russian Federation was officially financing, training and supplying weapons to an illegal terrorist group known for murdering people with a sledgehammer, cutting throats, decapitating prisoners and all those things that make ISIS envy. Uh, but despite being illegal, turns out that such terrorist groups in Russia can be completely legit and even supported by the state. And to finish this update on a more positive note, the Ukrainian parliament finally changed the official date for celebrating Christmas. Previously, Catholic Ukrainians celebrated Christmas on 25th of December and Orthodox Ukrainians on 7th of January, which was the official date. From now on, the holiday will be celebrated officially on 25th of December, uh, together with the rest of the Western world, even though it was really cool to celebrate Christmas like two times a year, but on the other hand, uh, we gotta stay more disciplined, plus you must remember that excessive alcohol is very, very bad for your health. My name is Operator Starsky, as always, be safe.